Take a look at what our winter-like <laughs> spring is doing to your lawn and garden. Yeah, it's just kept extending, hasn't it? At least we'll see some change soon. Uh, Joe Malillo has actually thought, spoke with, spoken with somebody, a lawn care expert, to talk about what we need to do to keep our, our lawns in general just top-notch. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you both. You know, April 1st rolled around, and if you're like me, you're starting to think about that lawn care. And uh, I really had no idea what to do. And I'm sure many of us are wondering with this extended spring, I should say extended winter into spring. Uh, what do we do now? Where, where are our lawns at and gardens at now? So I talked to one lawn care professional, Terry Jungles. He's the owner of TLC Lawn Total Lawn Care on the near west side. His company focuses on an organic approach to lawn care. He says the homeowners are still in good shape despite the cold weather, which is not what I thought originally. He suggested if you want to start doing something now, it's a good time to put what's called pre emergent crabgrass control down. Ultimately, believe it or not, the weather has only pushed us back a slight bit. I think we're about two weeks behind. So typically, you know, it's going to be a little warmer at the end of this week, but next week it's going to be back down in the 30s and 40s at night. So I still think our soil temperatures will be under 50 degrees by the end of next week, which is typically what we think of as the middle of April to have our crabgrass controls down. So I, I'd say two weeks. Yeah, so everything that uh, we're talking about is is all in contingent with soil temperature, something that's very important. You don't want to seed this spring, especially with pre-weed treatment down on the ground as well. They almost cancel each other out. They're competing against each other in the ground, so the seedlings or the new grass will lose out to this weed treatment, but we all don't want weeds in our lawn anyway, so you don't want to put any of the perennial flowers or plants out either because if you do that, that a frost in the next two weeks could kill them off and then you're just losing money. And right now, Indiana soil temperature, the thing that's most important here that we're talking about, 45 degrees. It's definitely 10 to 15 degrees colder than it has been in years past. I mean, I remember last year it was up at 60 to 65 degrees. Terry was telling me uh, when he was putting that preeminent crabgrass treatment down. And that's the most important thing. You put it down before it hits 55 degrees and you should be good. But uh, surprisingly, enough we are not that bad shape folks it, it, it should turn out your lunch should turn out all right and your garden should be good too guys all right joe thanks so much another sign of spring by the way is race fans look for